Hello and welcome to my first skincare product review for winter 2020. I have been stockpiling a lot of empty boxes of products that I really love or a few maybe not so much. So if you're interested in hearing about what I have to say, then keep on watching. But let's get started. First up is a product by Elemis. It's an anti-aging pro collagen cleansing balm. This is probably one of the better cleansing balms I've ever used. I'm a big believer in the double cleanse. This gets off all your makeup. It waterproof, long wearing lipstick, everything. It mainly uses beeswax and the melt factor is like a one. It melts so easily with the heat of your skin and immediately starts getting all that makeup off. Another aspect to this product that I really love is that they use a lot of anti-aging ingredients like triglycerides which are basically essential fatty acids. They act as emollients and help the skin retain its nourishment, which we definitely need. Something in here that I thought was interesting though, that it says collagen, pro-collagen. It's not gonna really institute more collagen. Collagen is acting like an emollient at this point, which is fine, but I just don't like people thinking, oh, I'm gonna get more collagen if you buy this product. You won't. The only way you can get more collagen in your skin is if through diet, a supplement, and or injectables. If you love essential oils, you will love the scent. They have amazing essential oils in here. Lavender, orange peel, sweet almond. Nothing is gonna clog the skin either. But if you're someone that has sensitized or sensitive skin, I might steer away from this one because that could potentially be irritating to your skin. But if you're a normal combination, dry, mature skin, go ahead and give this a go. It does retail for 64 bucks. It's a little expensive, but you get about 3.7 ounces of product and you will find that it lasts a long time, even if you use it. Um, generally, I'm only using it once a day, but it lasted probably for like six months for me, which I thought was pretty good. Next up is another is a kit. I love kits. Kits give me an opportunity to try in bite-sized portions, skincare um, to determine whether it makes sense to buy full size or not. And it also helps me speak about these products because I'm currently working in Ulta Beauty and they have so much skincare. And even though I am an expert in Dermalogica, I'm not an expert in everything. Not that I'm trying to be. <laughs> I'm just trying to be able to speak to some of my guests' questions when I can. Okay, so you get four of their flagship products in here that you get to try. One is their Hyaluronic Acid Microfiller Cone Patches. Another is Performance Peel Pads. You get a small sampling of their Total Correct and Sculpting Serum, and then a small sampling of their Lift Volumizing Concentrate. The Hyaluronic Acid Microfiller Cone Patches are the bomb. This is what the patches look like. You get only two in this kit, but the cones carry a lot of hyaluronic acid, so you can leave them on while you sleep. They do not go anywhere. And in the morning, you are just super hydrated in those areas. Usually, you put them on areas that have more fine lines and wrinkles. I opted to do it under my eye. It made a big difference um, in my eye area in the morning. So, highly recommend those. The performance peel pads are great for at-home peels. It has mandelic and glycolic acids. Those are both alpha-hydroxy acids that work to break down the glue that holds any dead skin on the surface of your skin. If you're working on anti-aging, you want to always expedite that skin cell renewal as, as much as you can. These I did not find to be very irritating at all, but if you're not used to glycolic at first, it might sting a little bit, but you can slowly build up a tolerance to that. But I do recommend this as an at-home peel treatment. Lift Volumizing Concentrate is chock full of sodium hyaluronate, which is basically hyaluronic acid. As we mature, our skin's ability to retain moisture really slows down. So the more hyaluronic acid you can give your skin, the better. Hyaluronic acid carries a thousand times its weight in water. So I'm a big fan of that concentrate. The only thing in here that I was kind of like, not so much, was the Total Correct and Sculpt Serum because it's mainly a primer, I felt. It's full of dimethicone and silicone, so it temporarily gives your skin that look of filling in fine lines and wrinkles. For long term, it's not going to really do anything for you. Maybe if you had a special occasion and you wanted to look extra sharp, use that, but primers can kind of do the same thing, so I just thought it was an expensive primer, so I thought, mm, maybe try something else. Okay, another item that I really like is by Tula that is a probiotic skincare line. This came in a set. This is the only thing I used in this set. Not that I didn't like the other items. I just really wanted to use this because it was a glycolic 
10% pH resurfacing gel. Anytime I can leave an alpha hydroxy acid or a beta hydroxy acid on my skin, working behind the scenes under my you know, makeup, I love. So really found this to be beneficial. It helps balance the skin's pH and helps exfoliate dead skin. So big fan of that. The next item I really liked, which was, this is a newer skincare item to Ulta 2 by Revolution. This is a Bakuchia 1% serum. If you're someone that uses retinol and find that it's very irritating to the skin, then give Bakuchiol a chance. Bakuchiol is a plant-based derivative that acts like retinol, but is not retinol. So you get all the pluses from retinol without all the minuses. You don't really have any irritation with this. You don't get that dry flaky skin. As soon as I put this on, this is my second to last step in my routine before I go to bed. My skin feels soft within minutes. It's crazy. By personal opinion, though, I mean, I'm, I'm going to still use a retinol because I'm already close to, I'm going to be 50 in one more year. So if I need something that's going to be more expedient, I'm probably going to stick with retinol. But if you're someone in your mid thirties and you want to kind of introduce yourself to anti-aging, this would be a great place to start. This is only $14 for one ounce, cruelty-free, vegan, fragrance-free. I liked it. I'm glad I tried it, but it's good to have alternatives to retinol just in case you need it. Okay, another product that I don't have the full size of, I just have a sample of, this is a sample of the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Cloud Eye Serum. It's a mouthful. And I really liked it. I know it doesn't look like I tried it, but I have. The consistency is just so yummy and jelly and I love it. Okay, here are my two cents on this. This product is a win-win for uh, anyone with mature skin because the eye area, we don't have any way to really hydrate this area. So there's no oil glands in there. So it's not gonna naturally hydrate on its own. So this is something that would be really beneficial for the eye area. It's full of ceramides, it's full of peptides, and it also has all the hyaluronic acid. So this would work really well as a night cream. The silicone, or excuse me, hyaluronic acid serums that are heavily concentrated like this one really can't be used under makeup during the day if you don't wear makeup then you can use this during the day no problem but i just found when i wore it under my makeup as soon as i put anything on top of it i had this pilling problem and drove me crazy i'm like what is causing all this pilling and then i realized it was this but because of all those beneficial ingredients i definitely would give this a try it is a, a really nice serum win-win the last thing on the list is from Bare Minerals. I tried this Give Good Skin kit, and um, I wish I had read the box more thoroughly before I jumped in with both feet. But in it, you get to try their Skin Longevity line, and you get a Vital Power Infusion Serum, their Vital Power Infusion Sleeping Gel Cream, and Vital Power Moisturizer with SPF 50. When I took this home and I looked at the ingredients, I'm like, oh, uh, it's got alcohol in it but the alcohol was kind of low on the list. So I thought I'll give them a try. I did like the serum. I used up the gel cream. They really made my skin feel really nice, but I just don't want to get into a system where it uses alcohol. I'm just trying to stay away from that. Alcohol in turn can dry out the skin. So I thought it was kind of counterintuitive. Why is it going to have alcohol in it when it's supposed to help increase my skin's ability to retain moisture? I just thought that was kind of silly. So it's not something I would buy. The broad spectrum... A moisturizer I also really liked. It's a physical sunscreen. So if you're someone that doesn't want a chemical sunscreen, this is a physical one. But here's the other thing to this. Um, physical sunscreen is going to have titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is what gives you that white cast. But zinc oxide is going to protect you from the UVA and B rays. And you definitely want the percentage of that to be around 20 or higher. And it's only about a 12%. So... I'm not really getting that full sun protection. So a quarter teaspoon of what you're supposed to use of your moisturizer with SPF, I'd probably have to use like what, double the amount to get the full efficacy of the SPF. So I'm not gonna do that. So sadly, I will not be repurchasing any of these things. Um, so that was the not so much category. So I hope you found this useful. I look forward to doing more of these reviews coming soon. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.